Welcome to another presentation of Clinical Tips in Equine Reproduction. Our goal is to provide horse owners and breeding managers with practical information regarding stallions, mares, or newborn foals. Today we will discuss Hi, I'm Dr. Ryan Ferris, a veterinarian at the Equine Reproduction Laboratory at Colorado State University. And today I'd like to talk to you about vaccinating your pregnant mares against rhinopneumonitis. Equine herpes virus 1, or rhinopneumonitis, is an important cause of abortions in mid to late term gestation. This particular herpes virus has a predilection for infecting placental cells. Once these placental cells become infected, the nutrient exchange between the mare and the foal becomes compromised and that pregnancy is lost. This virus is very easily transmitted from horse to horse via nose to nose contact or something even as simple as sharing a water trough or feed bunk uh, with another infected horse. The highly contagious aspect of this disease oftentimes results in what we call an abortion storm in which once one pregnant mare aborts on your facility, oftentimes multiple or the majority of your mares will abort uh, in the subsequent days to weeks following the first initial abortion. This virus typically inadvertently gets onto your property through a horse leaving, going to a horse show, uh, some sort of performance event, or even just a trail ride where they become exposed and have nose-to-nose -nose contact with a horse that's actively shedding equine herpes virus 1. They then come back to your property, and with the highly contagious aspect of this virus, the virus is spread from horse to horse throughout your property, including your pregnant mares. So how do we prevent this disease uh, from inducing abortions in your pregnant mares? Well, there's a couple things that we can do. First off, we can try to eliminate the exposure to the equine herpes virus. This would be best done by isolating all of your pregnant mares from other horses on the property. Remember, a single fence line will still allow your pregnant mares to have nose-to-nose -nose contact with other horses on your property. Ideally, we'd like to have uh, two fences 10 to 15 feet apart, so that way your pregnant mares at no time could have direct nose-to-nose -nose contact with any other horses, they wouldn't share any uh, water troughs or tanks, and they'd have uh, separate feeding facilities as well. Secondly, we'd like to limit the number of horse shows or trail rides that we take our pregnant mares on to reduce our exposure. And finally, if neither uh, one of those options work for you on your facility, the main thing is, is to isolate your pregnant mares from new horses that are arriving and from horses that may leave the, leave the facility, go to a show, and then return. These horses could actively be shedding the equine herpes virus, and you would never know it until your pregnant mares start having abortions. So what do we do if, our pregnant, if one of our pregnant mares does become exposed to equine herpes virus? Well, fortunately, there's two very good safe vaccines uh, available, Prodigy and Pneumobort K. Both these vaccines contain a killed virus, which has a short term of immunity, approximately about two months. Because of this, we need to vaccinate our pregnant mares at months five, seven, and nine of gestation to help reduce our risk of abortions due to rhinopneumonitis. So in summary, equine herpes virus one, or rhinopneumonitis, is a significant cause of abortions in mid to late term gestation. And we can prevent or reduce our risk of abortions due to rhinopneumonitis by isolating our pregnant mares and vaccinating them at months 5, 7, and 9 of gestation. Thank you for watching today's clinical tip in equine reproduction.